Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to our audience, uh, viewer in uh, Masa Facebook and Masa YouTube. Okay, today uh, Faculty, and Faculty of Engineering and Build Environment, Masa Universiti Bandar Sajana Putra Campus will conduct our uh, webinar series which is uh, for our delivering knowledge on uh, research and innovation all right so uh, first of all i would like to say thank you to our distinguished uh, guest speaker associate professor associate professor ts uh, dr muhammad rizwan bin mansu for accepting our uh, invitation okay so Hi Doktor, how are you? Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullah. Dr. Muhammad Sabirin. Okay. Uh, fine, thank you. Okay. So, before I st before we start our uh, this webinar, let me uh, introduce our distinguished guest speaker, Associate Professor uh, Dr. T.S. Dr. Muhammad Rizwan bin Manso. Okay. Muhammad Rizwan bin Manso currently serves as a pro postgraduate coordinator at Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, University Technical Malaysia Melaka, UTEM. He has obtained his bachelor degree in mechanical engineering in 2001 from University Technology Malaysia Johor. In 2007, he obtained his master degree in Manufacturing System Engineering at the Coventry University, United Kingdom, and later in uh, 2015 was awarded his uh, PhD in Mechanical Engineering at the University Putra Malaysia Selangor. He started his academic career by joining Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, University Technical Malaysia Melaka in 2005. And appointed associate professor in 2022 congratulations doctor among his uh, research interests include concurrent design methods automotive design composite material he also hold a professional technology certificate from malaysia board of technology since 2019 he is also an international trees which is in bracket matis and malaysia trees my trees level trees certificate practitioner as well as my trees level one certificate instructor and autodesk autocad certificate professional acp okay that's all for uh uh, the background of the our guest speaker so now i would like to uh, invite our speaker to deliver their experience their knowledge on about uh, trees method okay for problem solving all right so uh, doctor this platform okay. is yours okay uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Muhammad Sabirin Rahmat, uh, for the generous introduction. Uh, first and uh, foremost, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and uh, good morning uh, to all. Uh, I would like to uh, first thank uh, Masa University, especially the Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment for uh, having the opportunity uh, giving opportunity uh, to me okay to share a uh, little bit of my knowledge and experience through this uh, wonderful platform uh, especially to all masa uh, all around masa uh, students and staff okay so for uh, this morning uh, i would like i will be sharing with you uh, a little bit about uh, the trees method and how you can apply that into our day-to-day -day problem solving uh, in engineering, non-engineering, uh, etc. 
Okay, so uh, Dr. Sabirin, uh, may I share the, the slide? Eh? Yeah. Okay, sure. Dr. You can you can share the slide. Yeah. All right, clear. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so uh, for this morning, okay, uh, I will be sharing with you uh, this interesting topic, very keen to me, uh, about systematic and innovative problem-solving strategy using TREES method. And uh, I really appreciate uh, uh, all the comments, uh, questions, uh, from uh, the uh, respected audience, okay, uh, on this topic, uh, anytime uh, you may ask uh, impromptu, okay, uh, for anything that is lingering in uh, your mind about this topic, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, again, my my name is Muhammad Riza Manso uh, from the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, University Technical Malaysia Melaka, and. Uh, my current uh, uh, placement is now in the uh, Department of Automotive uh, Engineering, uh, UTEM. And uh, as uh, elaborated by Dr. Sabirin, my current research interest is on concurrent design, design for sustainability, automotive design, as well as composite materials. Uh, as we are very aware of the outcome-based education, uh, philosophy, especially in uh, uh, Malaysian education system. So at the end of this uh, webinar, uh, I hope all the participants will be able to first understand the concept of trees and second, able to at least apply the basic trees method for inventive problem solving. It, it is a very, uh, for me personally, it is a very uh, innovative methods uh, and uh, it can be uh, directly applied uh, either for your final year project or diploma project for your integrated design project or your capstone project uh, research work etc because uh, this is one of the uh, I think uh, a very uh, simple tool uh, to be applied uh, on a wide range of application so the, the main contents are as follows. Uh, okay, we will, I will explain or share to you what is trees and what is inventive problem solve, so, uh, inventive problems, how trees works, the advantages of trees, what is an ideal solution. So this is uh, one interesting terminology associated uh, but in trees method. And later I will share with you some of the application of the trees in inventive problem solving, first for root cause problem identification and later for solution generation. So we start with what is trees. So it is a, a problem solving method, okay, uh, developed by a Russian uh, patent uh, and or mechanic uh, patent and mechanical engineer named Genrich Ashuler, late Genrich Ashuler in 1940s. Uh, the, it stands for Theor Theoria Resenia Isobrev Tatalexix Zadach in Russian or translated in English as the Theory of Inventive Problem Solving. So I highlighted there uh, in uh, red uh, font uh, the inventive problem. So this is the main characteristic that differentiates trees with other problem solving methods. Apart from problem solving, uh, trees can also be applied for analysis and as a forecasting tool in technological development. So this is also another capability of trees, which is uh, highly beneficial, especially uh, for inventors eh, uh, to foresee uh, the trends of uh, technological evolution. And definitely when we can uh, predict what will be happening in the future, then we can put our mark in front of our competitors and have the leading advantages uh, in uh, the technological solution that we have we are going to provide. 
the method is created from the study of invention uh, of on invention of patterns eh? okay so from the global patent literature so it is actually uh, derived based on the statistical method okay uh, so uh, the, the 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 stories goes that uh, when uh, ashula okay uh, work uh, as a, a, a patent uh, a patent officer in the russian patent office so back in those days he examined a lot of patterns eh? okay uh, as part of his uh, job scope and when he analyzed all the patterns okay uh, to be reviewed and granted later on uh, he saw that uh, he saw that uh, uh, all the patterns submitted possess a similar set of uh, solution principle applied to them which means that uh, among the, all the patterns okay okay uh, there are repeating set of solution principles or solution ideas that are there are that are applied across all the patterns despite the varying application of the pattern submitted uh, so this is what intrigued uh, Gendrich Ashler at that time in the, and he studied more and from there he uh, created this trees method Okay, and uh, a famous quote from Gendrich Ashler is that he said that inventing is the resolution of technical contradiction. So invention is actually is the process or the aim, uh, its aim is to resolve technical contradiction. So uh, one another interesting keyword here is about contradiction. Uh, so what does contradiction means and how does uh, resolution on, of technical contradictions will lead to very innovative and highly creative and invention. So inventive problem. Uh, in general, uh, inventive problem means a problem with contradiction. And uh, to describe it uh, in more depth, it is uh, where the solution taken in solving a problem will create another problem so this is what it means by problem with contradiction so we have a problem okay when we solve the problem okay or by taking a measure to solve the problem that measure will lead to another problem uh, so this is what it is termed by problem with contradiction so we have a contradiction over there and uh conventionally the normal way of solving inventive problem is to opt or to recite with trade-off yeah so uh, for example okay i would like something to be strong but in the end it must be uh, heavy so that is the trade-off that i have to live with with by implementing that solution okay is it uh, it will be best uh, definitely if i can have a very strong strong uh, performance uh, in terms of solution while in the same time i can keep the weight of this uh, of the system or product to minimum as minimum as possible uh, so we don't have any trade-off or our undesirable trade-off that we have to uh, uh, accept uh, by implementing the solution and this is what uh, trees is aiming for the trees goal is try to eliminate the trade-off and definitely by eliminating the trade-off we can arrive or strike to the uh, phase of the ideal solution yeah a solution with it ideal a solution whereby when we implement it it will not create any problems at all for example, in, uh, type of contradiction with uh, which uh, we normally uh, have to uh, or face during uh, our day-to-day -day life. We need something which is strong, but in the end, it it uh, it is heavy, 
or we want something to be the solution to be effective but then the solution creates a very complex uh, system uh, to work with or we want something to be fast uh, definitely i would like uh, to travel fast so that i can save on time but through that solution uh, it will cost me a high amount of energy usage okay we i want like something to be large in the replication but then i will have the problem of uh, accommodating or allocating a big space for that solution uh, so these are the type of contradiction that uh, uh, example of contradiction that uh, arise in our daily life especially in technical context and through trees method we would like to uh, uh, resolve this contradiction okay and how trees work so uh, for those undertaking a bachelor of mechanical engineering i believe that uh, you have or you will be apa, uh, undertaking the uh, design subject okay and as you are being uh, uh, aware or you are aware of the design process okay or the problem solving process normally takes you from identifying the problem and later arrive to the uh, solution well trees also have the same uh, principle of operation or uh, how it works okay but uh, what differentiate trees is that uh, it start with you defining the specific problem okay and then you convert that specific problem or that complex problem into a general problem and how do you do this is by the, the trees have a, a, a distinctive uh, uh, methodology to help you to, to uh, convert your specific problem into uh, general problem and then when uh, you have generalized the problem uh, the aim is that by having uh, doing that okay you will have uh, the uh, you will break the psychological inertia in in thinking creatively uh, because now you are breaking all the specific problems uh, into a more understandable and easy to to digest with uh, a definition of the problem so from there you can be more creative and uh, from there the trees uh, will provide you another set of uh, method uh, to help you in creating the general solution uh, and finally, uh, based on the three general solutions, okay, uh, you can develop that general solution into your specific solution, which finally will solve your specific problem. So the root goes uh, this uh, as shown here. So you have your specific problem, you break that specific problem into a more general problem definition. From there, you can use three tools to create general solution or solution idea and from there you develop uh, your specific solution uh, so this is how trees work in problem solving what are the advantages of trees so uh, among the main advantages first it it, uh, it assists you or helps you to break the psychological inertia to be creative and innovative so uh, people are actually have the capacity and the capability to be highly creative and innovative in problem solving but among the major hurdles is the psychological inertia uh, which limits your capability to be creative and innovative so what this does is that it provides you the assistance through the uh, algorithm or all the uh, procedures on how you can uh, uh, think okay the steps for you to uh, taken for you to solve the problem 
and it can be used in either in individual setting or a group setting uh, to solve inventive problems so you can apply this method individually it is best if you can apply this method in a group setting because more ideas can be generated okay through uh, a team's setting uh, this is again another main advantages of trees it, it helps you to predict trends of product or system evolution uh, so this is another powerful tools of trees okay and uh, another distinctive advantage of trees is that it solves problem based on the product or process function so uh, how trees solve problem is based on the function of the product or processes uh, uh, this is also a famous quote for those uh, apa, involved in trees. Product change, but function remains. And uh, as we are aware of, okay, uh, in uh, so many uh, uh, conditions, we can see that the product changes, but the function of the product remains. Uh, for instance, if we take... Uh, our handphone okay uh, as the example so the function of the handphone is for communication either the main either to uh, to deliver text or voice so that's the main function but as we can see the the the, the product okay uh, which carries the function uh, changes all over time okay uh, at first we have a wired uh, type of telephone okay uh, then we go to the uh, non-wired type of phone and uh, and for the, the future uh, we can see that uh, our phone will evolve into more complex uh, shapes but again the main function remains uh, so this is uh, how trees uh, uh how what how trees uh solve the problem based on the product or process function so again the product changes but the function remains and uh having the right tool for the right job is very important in our uh or in whatever task we are being given to all right so trees is a very uh effective tools especially for problem solving method and by having the right tool for the right job okay if you can implement the right tool for the right job you can uh, achieve the aim more effectively and more uh, in a more uh, uh, cost effective manner uh, so i think this uh, uh, snippet uh, from uh, provide a good example on having a right the right tool for the right job okay and then uh, again uh, previously uh, okay i uh, mentioned about ideal solution in trees so what is the ideal solution so the ideal solution uh, basically is we, when we have a solution which does not create any problem or any uh, resulting problem at all when the solution is implemented or in uh, mathematical terms okay, we can achieve the ideal solution or the increase it is termed as ideal final result by having all the useful functions okay divide by, divide by the cost and harmful function Okay, if we can uh, increase all the useful functions over the cost and over the cost plus the harmful function, then we can arrive to the situation of ideality. So, kita ada pen, uh, penyelesaian yang sempurna. So, if you uh, look at this uh, simple equation, it also represents uh, the philosophy of value engineering okay in uh, product development or concurrent engineering okay. example of trees ideality concept okay what is the best taxi with no taxi 
what is the best taxi with no taxi okay uh, any answer to that okay one example is grab so grab uh, function as a people uh, uh the, the main function uh, initially is the people carrier so it can perform the function of people uh, carrying people or good uh, people without having uh, the need to have its own taxi fleet so now every taxi or every car in the world registered by grab although not uh, the, although grab is not the owner owns uh, by grab uh, Another example, uh, the best hotel with no hotel, it can provide the function of a hotel, uh, providing accommodation to people by not having any uh, physical hotel by itself. Okay. Uh, for example, Airbnb or Agoda, etc. Eh? So now we, it, it can operate to the level of high ideality. It can perform all the required function but at the lowest cost and at the minimum harmful function and uh, is there any best printer with no printer okay can we is there any solution whereby we can perform the solution of uh, the, the function of printing uh, but without the means of a printer okay uh, that's one question i leave uh, to the uh, all your uh, to the participants eh? okay right. uh, the next we go to the application of trees in uh, problems uh, inventive problem solving so in general okay uh, trees is divided into two okay first in the first stage is defining the problem root cause and later followed by generating the solution so in the uh, stage two uh, there are uh, in general five model of problems that can be applied okay uh, to generate a solution okay uh, plus one very uh, the, the most basic which is the trimming uh, method in generating the solution so as we can see again the how trees works in inventive problem solving is very similar to other problem solving method whereby we need to first define the problem root cause and then arrive to the stage of generating the solution okay so uh, however due to the time limitation uh, for this uh, sharing session I will be explaining or sharing with you two gen, uh, solution generation method in trees. First is the trimming method, and second is through the engineering contradiction uh, model of problems and the specific inventive principle as the model of solution. For those uh, who are keen to know more, then uh, I suggest that uh, you can uh, go to the Malaysian Trees uh, Association website or Facebook uh, and uh, see uh, all the, the more advanced training program being provided uh, by the My Trees, okay, whereby you can join in. So, uh, for stage one, how uh, trees works in uh, identifying the root cause of the problem. So there are two steps. First is to fun perform function analysis and the second step is to perform cause and effect chain analysis. Uh, okay. So step one, perform function analysis. Okay. So uh, the, the idea or the aim of the forming function analysis is that so is for us to identify correctly the main function for each of the uh, component within an engineering system that we are dealing with uh, okay and in order to do that okay 
there are several steps okay first is identifying engineering system super system and subsystem so in our problem we can divide our problem into an engineering system super system and subsystem and what does this means so engineering system is the is the main product that uh, we are going uh, to solve or the 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 where the problem exists okay for instance okay i take the bicycle as the engineering system right and then uh, i identify what are the super system that relates to the engineering system so the super system is all the other uh, elements that interact with the engineering system and later the subsystem corresponds to the individual component which makes up the engineering system okay so uh, in a nutshell okay if we take the bicycle as the uh, engineering system and then we can define the subsystem of the bicycle uh, such as the chassis a brake a powertrain etc and then we can also define all the other elements external elements that interact with the engineering system we term it as a super system such as air humidity light and heat uh, okay uh, the, the idea uh, the, the 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 idea is that when we can identify all the elements interacting with the engineering system whether it is at a super system level or subsystem level then we can identify what is the uh, the source of uh, or the uh, the root that caused the problem to our engineering system uh, so that's the main aim later uh, after identifying all the uh, subsystem and super system interacting with our engineering system okay we assign function for each of the component and uh, here okay uh, this is how trees do it so we first define what is the subject and the object so the object okay is linked with the subject through the function okay the fun function okay we define it as things that change the object parameter so if your object is a glass okay or an apple if you change the object parameter then uh, that change is performed by a function is if, if that function does not change the object parameter then that function is not considered a true function uh, for instance if i am uh, pushing a table okay uh, and by that pushing i move the table from a to b uh, that that means i have changed the object parameter from one distance to another distance and that function is considered a true function if i try to push that uh, table but the table does not move at all that means the function that i have given to the object is not a true function because that function does not change any of the object parameter and uh, in defining the function trees recommend that uh, we use simple words and avoid technical jargons okay for instance uh, instead of uh, uh, using etching or polish as the technical term to describe the function we can use more simple term to describe uh, the function okay such as remove if we want to grip okay we can add uh, or name that function as hold if we want to drive okay so drive uh, let's say i drive a car which mean i move a car from a to b uh, the, the the aim now is to avoid uh, by avoiding this technical jargon then we can really understand the basic function uh, that is uh, uh, that is uh, related to the object 
and by uh, understanding the the basic uh, function then it will help us to really understand what is the problem and later on help us to create a uh, more innovative idea and break the psychological inertia okay some examples okay on the performing the function analysis what is the main useful function of this product what is the function of the bottle to the water what is the function of the bottle cap to the water okay for question number one what is the function of the bottle to the water so the bottle holds the water uh, okay what is the function of the bottle cap to the water? So the bottle cap stops the water from uh, 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 from uh, apa, being uh, uh, splitting away. Okay. What is the function of the table to the bottle? So the table holds the bottle in place. Uh, so these uh, are the terms that we use to describe the function for each of the subject to the object okay and later on when we have uh, identified the uh, fun uh, the we define the function then we identify the type of function so this is a very uh, uh, effective way to know which function that is uh, performed uh, as expected and which function does which does not perform as expected and definitely uh, the function that does not perform as required is the main or the targeted source of the problem so now it helps us to identify where is the root cause of the problem so trees have uh, uh, constructed or upper uh, classified four type of function First is useful function, uh, means that the function that meet the requirement of the intended user. Second is insufficient function, means that a function, a useful function, but perform lower than the requirement of the intended user. Third is excessive function, whereby it describe a fun useful function, but perform higher, little bit higher than the requirement of the intended user. And finally, a harmful function, a function that worsen the parameters of the object. And to show the linkages or the type of function uh, visually, so when we construct a function uh, model like this, so we can uh, put uh, four types of arrows eh, okay, to reflect the classification of the function. If it is a useful function, then we put a straight line. If it is a uh, useful but insufficient, we put a dotted line. If it is useful but excessive, more than we required, we put a bold straight line. Finally, if it is a harmful function, then we put a narrow line. Okay, a zigzag line. For example, a fruit gripper. Okay. Uh, the fruit gripper, if it functions uh, usefully as per requirement of intended user, it will grip the apple in place over the required time, okay, without jeopardizing the, uh, maybe the, 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 the outer skin of the uh, apple or without breaking the apple eh, while gripping. So that's a useful function. How about insufficient function? how can the fruit gripper be insufficient uh, in terms of delivering its function so it grips the apple but it can only holds the apple for maybe uh, a, a couple of seconds less than the intended uh, time uh, for it so it grips yes but then it can only hold for a very uh, low amount of time which is uh, lower than the requirement how about excessive function the fruit gripper uh, grips the apple okay or uh, over the uh, required time but then it 
uh, provide an extra gripping force uh, which uh, create a damage okay uh, to the uh, skin of the apple it leave maybe a scratch mark or dented mark the apple is still in its uh, original shape but then the surface finishing of the apple is jeopardized due to the excessive gripping and how about function so this is easy the fruit gripper when it grips it grips too hard until it breaks the apple so this is how the fruit gripper can perform four different type of function uh, okay uh, and how trees uh, describe that type of function through the uh, fruit gripper example okay then we create a function model to show the interaction between all the components okay so now we join all the components together okay which forms the engineering system and we also link all the super system or the environmental factors which interact with the engineering system for example okay uh, the worker is the uh, external factor or external uh, element that interact with the engineering system okay with the parts so we can have also uh, in term of uh, the sub, uh, subsystem itself the engineering system comprised of leaf camera guide box control system etc and we can uh, map now or create a linkages between all the component uh, through the uh, functions and from there we can see maybe some of the functions are uh, performed insufficiently uh, for example leaf is holding the camera insufficiently or we can see some of the function are being performed excessively okay through the uh, bold line for example guide is stopping the boxes but more than the required uh the requirement or maybe uh some of the function are doing harm to another component or uh, ob uh object okay for example the guides harms the worker or the box harms the worker so by identifying this uh, function model then we can know where is the root cause of the problem so that we can start to uh take action and uh find the appropriate solution for that okay so these are the potential root cause of the problem okay and uh later on okay after uh, uh, creating the function uh model so we perform cost and effect chain analysis based on the key target different disadvantages identified so these are the key target advantages disadvantages sorry and uh, we use a typical why 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 uh, method on finding what is the actual root cause of the problem uh, so uh, for those uh, familiar with the Japanese style of uh, problem solving so why 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 is a very common or very famous way to identify the uh, root cause of problem and trees also use the same principles after identifying the key target disadvantages okay so now by uh, identifying the potential root cause of the problem we can attack okay or solve it effectively and when we solve the potential root cause of the problem the solution will not create any other problem and then we can uh, and help us to arrive to the ideal solution. I think, okay, we do uh, continue. Okay, so after identifying the root cause of the problem, down now what we are going to do, we are going to solve or generate solution for it. So, uh, as mentioned before, I will share with you two uh, basic three uh, tools in generating solution. First is the trimming tool okay so what does trimming means is that it, it chop off or cuts uh, something from the original uh, engineering element so
So we solve something by mo removing something. Okay, so this is also a, a basic principle of solution. Okay, and uh, we also share with you uh, another uh, solution method, which is the 40 inventive principle. So we can solve something by looking up either one of the 40 inventive principles as shown here uh, to guide you in generating more specific ideas. So for method number one, trimming. So trimming or removing uh, the undesired function, that is the purpose. Again, we are attacking on the function of the uh, system or process that we are trying to solve. This is the simplest way to solve problem. Then there are three trimming rules in trees, uh, which uh, are laid out to help you to, to uh, perform this process. Rule A is that when you, do, when you want to trim something or remove something, you trim the subject when the function is no longer required. Trim the subject when the function is no longer required. So uh, again, okay, I'll go back to the slides. Okay. So we have the subject and the object. Okay, subject and object. Okay. So rule number A, uh, we can trim the subject when the function is no longer required. If the subject does not carry any function, then we can trim the subject. So this is one the 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 fastest method in uh, performing the trimming. Rule number two is to trim, or rule B is to trim the subject when the same function can be performed by the object itself. If the object can do the same function as the subject, then we do not need the subject at all, uh, no longer. Eh? Rule C is that we can train the subject when the same function can be performed by other subject or super system. Uh, okay. So graphically, so this is how the three trimming rules uh, works. Rule number A, we trim the subject. Okay. If the function is no longer required. So, Okay, we if we don't have uh, the requirement or the desire to perform that function, we can trim the subject. Secondly, if the object can perform the function itself, then we don't need others to perform that similar action or that similar function. So we can trim it and make our uh, system more simple. Rule number C, okay. The same function can be performed by other uh, parts or component. So we can trim uh, either one of the uh, subject. Uh, so we don't uh, need a redundancy in uh, component performing the similar action to the object. So this is uh, the rule, uh, there the, are the three rules of trimming in trees. For example, okay. How do you trim a toothbrush? Okay, how do you trim a toothbrush? First, uh, based on the trees method, you need to identify what is the main function of the toothbrush. A toothbrush, uh, any product design have, uh, any product developed definitely will have a main function. So the keyword main function is very important in problem solving uh, using trees you need to identify the main function and definitely a same product will have auxiliary function uh, okay for example uh, back with the handphone uh, the phone the main function of phone is to deliver text or voice but now as we can see the phone uh, progress or uh, evolve it can also perform other type of function such as taking camera, uh, taking picture, uh, calculating numbers, uh, editing videos, etc. So there is the auxiliary function. Uh, but still the main function uh, remains. Eh? Okay. So how do you trim a toothbrush? 
Okay, for this question, we need to identify the uh, main function of the toothbrush. Okay, the main function of toothbrush is to remove plug. Okay, or uh, from uh, from the teeth. So the handle holds the brush. Okay, so we can trim the handle of the brush while maintaining the same function of removing plug or any other debris from uh, our mouth. Okay, by now using our hand or the super system. Eh? So user uh, hand as as the means to carry the function. Uh, so now we are trimming one component uh, from the uh, system. Okay, and by trimming that, if the handle of toothbrush cause a problem, then we can we already remove or eliminate the problem and arrive to a more better solution. How do you trim a handphone charger? Okay. So when you are trimming the handphone charger, remember that you are uh, you want to remain uh, to maintain the uh, main function. The handphone charger function as to deliver power from the source of to the the handphone. So we can trim. How do you trim it? By the means of maybe using wireless charging. So now we can still maintain or remain. The function of transmitting power from the source to the handphone, but by the means of not using a cable or a rigid connection, but by using a uh, a nut a a a magnet uh, sorry, uh, a a a wave connection. Eh? Okay. Uh, the second method is the 40 inventive principles. Okay, uh, 40 inventive principles. Okay, so uh, the these principles is uh, uh, have uh, several steps. Okay, uh, as you can see in trees, the, the process are uh, being assisted by steps, eh? uh, by distinctive steps. So this is what uh, try, tree is trying to uh, to help us with in problem solving so rather than uh, relying on our ingenuity alone uh, trees help us to arrive or to think creatively in solving problem by using this set of tools uh, to help us and guide us along the problem solving process uh, okay. right. so uh, for method number two the inventive principles how do we solve problem using this method is first by identifying the contradiction that uh, exists and uh, and through that uh, after identify, identifying that contradiction normally trees will uh, recommend or, or trees recommend you to create a, an engineering contradiction statement for you to further understand the, the the situation that you are facing uh, and this is uh, this can be done through uh, this simple if and if then and but keywords uh, but uh, uh, in constructing the statement okay we start by stating uh, if uh, which correspond the parameter to be improved and by impl uh, implementing that if then uh, will follow which correspond to the positive change or condition acquired. The next sentence is but, which correspond to the parameter will be worsened or deteriorate due to the improvement made. So if, then, but. Example, if I make uh, the table uh, bigger, then I can accommodate more people at one time. But then, uh, I don't have enough space to store it uh, later on. So if the parameter that we want to have or to improve, then is the positive change or action required, but will correspond to the parameter with, that will be worsened or deteriorate to the, due to the improvement made. And then uh, from this complex statement, 
we create uh, a more general statement by matching it to one of the 339 system parameters. So 39 system parameters is actually the engineering parameters that people look for uh, in associating uh, the function. Okay, I will show you later. Okay, the 39 system parameters in trees. And lastly, based on the system parameters, okay, we use trees contradiction matrix to search for recommended inventive principles or also known as general solution principle. So by, uh, this is the quickest way, okay, you use, uh, later on, you use trees contradiction matrix and from that matrix, it will propose to you what are the inventive principles that you can uh, apply as a guide to create or to uh, or to create uh, solutions for your problem and finally we apply the inventive principles to solve the problem so these are the 39 system parameters so as we can see the uh, all the parameters correspond to the uh, to the uh, parameters which is normally engineers look for in solving a problem or on describing a problem. So, for example, weight of moving object, weight of stationary object, length of moving object, length of stationary object, etc. So, these are the terms that normally associated with the function of the uh, engineering system. All right. So, we can have the parameters with uh, which is improving and the parameters which will deteriorate uh, due to the contradiction that exists. Later on, okay, uh, we have 39 uh, over here. So we use the trees contradiction matrix to arrive or to find the recommended solution principles. Okay, for example, we have, if we define the feature to improve is number one then this contribution matrix okay uh, will propose to you the solution principles okay uh, numbered here based on the uh, worsening parameters uh, that we have also identified okay. and uh, the 40 inventive principles okay uh, are as follows so these are the 40 ideas that you can use to generate solution uh, for your problem. So we have uh, the ideas of uh, implementing segmentation to solve the problem. Okay, the, it means that you can solve a problem by dividing your system into a more, uh, by breaking up your system into, um, uh, into uh, smaller pieces. Okay. So you segmentize, you, okay. Or you can solve the problem by taking out something. So this is also very similar to the trimming that uh, we have uh, uh, seen previously. By removing or trimming or taking out, we can solve a problem. So these are the four inventive principles that we can use to help us in generating ideas. And in graphically, uh, these are the how... Uh, each of the 14 principles uh, means segmentation is to break into smaller parts, taking out to remove something from the whole system. Local quality means that it can perform apa, uh, adequately okay, uh, as uh, intended. We can also solve something by using the principle of asymmetry or by the principle of merging or combining something. Okay, we can also solve problems by using the principle of nesting or nested doll. We can uh, uh, we can place something into something into something, okay, like a nest, okay, to solve a problem. And uh, there are in total 40 inventive principles that are uh, being uh, proposed by trees. And again, uh, if you remember, uh, the earlier slides okay so these 40 principles were were generated by, by ashula during his uh analyzing uh pattern analysis so 
I told you, uh, shared with you previously, when he works as a pattern uh, engineer, when he analyzes all the pattern, he see many of the pattern use similar principle of uh, solution or inventive principles for their uh, solution. Uh, so he group all of it uh, and uh, make uh, and uh, finally created this forty inventive principle. Okay, so the last, uh, 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 I think uh, the last is how we can apply the 40 inventive principles uh, to make a solution. Uh, I give uh, one quick example. Uh, in a workshop uh, which that acquires a new heavy duty working table for its production, uh, the table is very strong. Uh, and can hold very uh, heavy load during operation. That is uh, what is the intended. Uh, for instance, we are doing uh, lab works and definitely we want our working table to be very sturdy, okay, uh, to uh, withstand all the heavy loads uh, during operation. However, uh, the downside of the, of the uh, contradiction, okay, that occurs is that it requires many workers to move it when they want to change the location of the table. So it is very hard to move around, uh, okay, due to the uh, uh, heaviness of the uh, table. So what is or are your suggestions to help solve the contradiction? So what is, uh, are the solution that we can uh, implement so that we can still have a very high, uh, strong uh, table okay as required but we can also uh, eliminate the problem of uh, difficulty in moving that table around uh, when required uh. so using trees method okay uh, the problem uh, can be solved using this step so step number one creating the engineering contradiction okay First, we describe uh, clearly what is the uh, situation using the if, then, and but uh, uh, upper keywords. So we describe the situation as if the table is heavy, which is the desirable parameter, then it is strong, okay? But it is difficult to move or lift the undesirable parameter. So can we still have a heavy uh table which is strong but easier to move okay at the same time if we can solve this then we can have an ideal solution so we match the the second step is to match the statement with 339 system parameters so uh, improving or desirable parameter is the heaviness or we correspond to the weight of the stationary object and then the undesirable or worsening parameter is the difficulty to move which correspond to the parameter of ease of operation or productivity so next we use for uh, three contradiction matrix okay to help identify what are the potential uh, inventive solution that we can apply for okay and then Okay, based on that event, uh, contradiction metric, it shows us there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight solution principles that we can, that have the potential to be applied, okay, for your, uh, for the uh, targeted solution. And we examine each of the uh, solution principle and try to see, uh, will that help in generating the specific solution or not? So, based on the inventive solution principles suggested so we as engineer then or, or the the inventor then try to work out the uh, specific solution so using principle number one segmentation one of the solution that we can take uh, to resolve the contradiction is by uh, making uh, the working table components to be easily disassemble and reassemble at the desired location. So now, uh, uh, instead of uh, designing 
uh, a one piece or very uh, one piece uh, table so we can make uh, the components uh, as many as possible to be uh, adaptive to able to be disassembled and assembled so that we when we want to move the heavy table to another location we can disassemble and reassemble it to the desired location so this is one of the solution principle another solution principle is the other way around so instead of the booker uh, normally push the table to the desired location we can uh, uh, by lifting it okay we can also push that to the desired location by the aid of something in between which is maybe a ro roller placed alongside the moving path okay or we can also use the principle of dynamics uh, as recommended by trees whereby we can install caster wheels on the table legs for it to be uh, easily move okay so i think uh, we have uh, all right I sh uh, this is the uh, the link uh, uh, okay okay you can uh, try to uh, search for this video okay on how the principles of uh, the other way around uh, by putting a roller uh, uh, intermediary okay between the uh, floor and the uh, table to make it uh, more adaptive or more movable so this is how we apply the 40 inventive principle in generating the uh, solution for the problem and by having this uh, innovative uh, solution, we can arrive to the uh, situation of the ideal solution. Okay, uh, uh, I leave you with this uh, a short uh, challenge, okay, a simple and short challenge. The problem background, an instructor uses a long pointer to conduct training. After training, she needs to keep the pointer in her small little bag but faces the problem of storing the pointer. So proper solution to help the instructor to cover um, this problem. And when we uh, look back at the 40 inventive principle, okay, what are the uh, ideas that we can adopt from this? Okay, maybe we can uh, use a segmentation as well. So instead, uh, the pointer can be uh, divided into several segments. So if you want to extend that, we, then we plug in. Uh, more and more segments and we when we want don't want to use it anymore we remove all the segments and then we can have a uh, a very uh, short and compact uh, size that can uh, be stored in the uh, in the in the in the bag okay or we can also have a uh, nesting uh, principle number seven as the idea so we can have a telescopic uh, type of uh, pointer okay it can be uh upper pull to be long or then be compressed to be short or we can also uh, use the principles of uh mechanic substitution so we uh, instead of a uh, rigid uh, means okay then we can uh, use a uh, means of a laser okay uh, to represent the length of the pointer so now we can have a very short pointer but we can uh, direct us over a very long distance so these are the uh, ideas that we can uh, create based on the inventive principle uh, i think uh, that's uh, all uh, from me uh, i would like to end my sharing session by just uh, adding uh, some additional information okay to all the uh, respected uh, participants or audience so if you are very interested in trees or would like to know more the trees journey uh, can take you from the level one practitioner up to the level five or as a trees master and uh, we can also develop your career using trees either as an practitioner or finally as an instructor okay and this can be uh, officially uh, done uh, through the nation trees association uh, 
so do check out um, my trees uh, website and uh, they also have a facebook over there uh, so uh, for uh, our team in uh, faculty of mechanical engineering uh, we have a uh, three certified uh, maestries uh, instructor and practitioner, me, myself, engineer uh, TS Dr. Muhammad Zaid Akub and uh, TS Dr. Muhammad Adil Nata. So feel free to contact us if you have any uh, sort of uh, question or some ideas to collaborate, especially uh, related to trees. And uh, we also have our own Facebook page, mytrees.utem, whereby we post regular uh posting uh, about trees just to share the recent trends uh, about trees to all the uh, viewers so you can also check our facebook uh, page and uh, hope all the information can further create strong interest in using trees for problem solving okay i think uh, that's all for me uh, thank you very much uh, and i pass back the session to the moderator, Dr. Muhammad Sabirin. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, to our distinguished guests. All right, uh, this is a valuable uh, knowledge sharing se session, okay, for to getting the initial idea to create a research idea to in uh, the research especially in uh, problem solving okay so we hope uh, this uh, webinar can will be beneficial beneficially uh, for uh, student our student master students our staff okay to getting the idea for continue their research so before we the end of this session okay uh, we have a, a question. Is it the, is is the three free software? If free, where we can get it? Okay, all right. Thank you very much uh, for the question. Uh, actually, trees uh, does not require any software, so the methodology uh, is uh, more uh, is very similar. Uh, the, the, the way that trees work is very similar to other problem solving method uh, such as uh, if uh, for example lean manufacturing uh, uh, lean principles or six sigma but uh, the, the, the the specialty it doesn't uh, require any software so it's just a very uh, very straightforward uh, method you can apply this method without using any software at all so for research purposes or for NDA generation purpose, so this is a very big advantage uh, because you just need to understand the principle and then you can immediately apply the uh, methodology in uh, solving the problem. Okay, thank you for your answer. Okay, for, for, for the participants uh, who wants to join the trees and then to get it, the more information on trees, you can contact to uh, Associate Professor Dr. Uh, TS Dr. Muhammad Rizal Mansour from UTEM and also uh, his, uh, his click okay so so we don't have any question on that on the chat comment box all right so we did, we end of this session thank you very much thank you for joining us for uh, this webinar series okay hope you can enjoy and then getting the, some uh, information and uh, knowledge for trees right thank you our distinguished guest speaker associate professor uh, ts dr Muhammad rizwan manso for their delivering uh, knowledge on uh, trees method thank you thank, thank you very much you uh, next dr webinar. sabirin thank you dr sabirin and thank you to all participants for your uh, participation all right thank you Thank you.